As network operators transform their networks and adopt and integrate emerging technologies, platforms and processes, how do they ensure they can maintain the very high levels of service quality and delivery expected from the telco community while also capitalising on industry innovation? Well, to find out, I'm talking with Gavin Duckett, Global Customer Experience and Support Director, Communications Technology Group at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. So Gavin, great to talk to you today. Uh, can you tell us about your industry background and your role at HPE? Okay, of course, thank you. And it's good to talk to you too. So I started my career quite a long time ago now as a software developer, um, working on mission critical software in various industry sectors. I then spent around 10 years working for one of the, the UK's large telco operators, um, particularly working in the OSS space. I've been with HPE now 16 years in the telco practice um, and have had various roles from delivery, solution design and product management. I've been in this role now for the last two years looking after customer experience and support on a global basis for our telco software and solutions. Okay, fantastic. Um, now, telcos operate on five nines reliability or better. How does HPE meet their needs in this respect on a global basis? So for me, that works best if we start to look at the beginning of the journey that we have with our solutions and with our customers. So we start by looking at how we design in supportability to our products as part of the product development lifecycle. So my team will engage with our product development organization, our R&D organization, and sit alongside them as we take our products through the release plans to ensure that supportability is part of what's designed in and that my team understand the product as it comes out and is made available to our customers and are in a position to support it. And of course, we have global reach. So we have a team of experts sitting across the world who are able to take the calls 24 by 7 and respond to the obligations we take for our customers. Now, uh, telcos have traditionally been cautious about updating software releases to the latest versions using the, uh, if it isn't broken, don't fix it approach. Uh, why is this a bad idea and how can HPE help them keep up to date and feel confident about doing so? Yeah, it's a really good question. So sometimes the upgrade process is uh, uh, a very difficult or very heavy process and it has caused people to, to be reluctant sometimes to move forward. But it's really important that customers move to the latest release of the software where that's available, both in terms of taking advantage of the new features and the new technology that's included, but also included with that software will be the, the, the patches and the, uh, the corrections and the enhancements that bring benefit to, to every customer in the production environment. We put a lot of effort into the software releases over the past few years to make sure that upgrade process is more efficient and easier to undertake. And also as we move into a software as a service way of working in the future, we'll be taking more direct responsibility for maintaining the, the platform that we make available as a service to our customers with a target um, associated with that availability too. So things are changing as we move into future ways of working and the as-a-service approach to delivering solutions to our customers will change that dynamic in a really useful way, I think. Now, communications networking technology is evolving at a very rapid pace, especially with the introduction of containers and microservices into the telco software domain and the adoption of agile software development. Uh, telcos have had a lot more to deal with as they become more cloud native. Uh, how does HPE help customers on this journey? So again, part of that is looking at how we design and deliver our software, but also how we support it. So it's looking at the, the more frequent releases that we make available to our customers, how we include uh, patches and updates in those releases, and then how we align our support service with that agile release process, taking into consideration the way we deliver change and the way we uh, manage the whole process of diagnosing problems. So we've realigned our support service to understand what it is to deliver an agile solution into the customer base. And we've used the agile delivery methodology to, to change the way we interact as well. It also means the solutions are sometimes broken into smaller components, which we're able to deal with in, a, in an isolated way. So the microservices, the, the containerization, the efficient way of delivering, it changes the support dynamic in a way that will be useful, I think, in the future for our customers in terms of offering flexibility and maintaining the service that we deliver with less and less uh, production and operational impact as we do it. 
And what kind of feedback do you get from customers about their support experiences with HPE? So we get really good and really positive feedback. And we put a lot of focus over the last few years into making sure we actively survey, listen and respond to our customers as well. And our customers can be confident if they take the time to respond to our requests for feedback that we take it really seriously, both in terms of following up on any suggestions they have to make, but also looking at where we get positive feedback and what we can learn from that and how we can use that experience internally to ensure that we consistently deliver a great service. So I'm really proud of the feedback the team get and the way we deliver to our customers. And again, would encourage our customers to take the time to provide that feedback because we really do take it seriously and we value it too. And looking ahead now, uh, what do you envision for your organization in the near future? And how is that aligned with your customers' expectations? So I, I think, again, we've, we've talked about as a service, we've talked about agile, we'll see more and more of our customer base and our portfolio moving in that direction. And it's about making sure we continue to evolve the support service we offer and the commitments and the obligations we make as well to align with our customers' needs and the way that software and solutions are being developed, delivered and maintained in a customer's operational environment. So for me, this is around a process of continual change to evolve, to adopt new technology and new ways of working, and to make sure we can meet the business commitments that our customers require of us in a, an efficient and effective way. So a process of continually evolving to meet the market need and to keep our customers in a position that they can deliver against their commitments to their customers too. Absolutely. Lots of uh, change going on in the industry, but, but really important change, uh, all designed to help everybody to get a better experience. Gavin, great to talk to you today. Thanks very much for joining us. Thank you very much for the opportunity.